time to find out how hard or easy it is to open up an Xbox Series X controller. Hi and welcome back to The Shed. I'm Joe Bleeps and today is my first time of taking apart an Xbox Series X controller. Uh, the Series X and the Series S both have the same controller, just different colours. But with it being a relatively new console, I'd not had the chance to take one apart yet and wasn't really sure how to go about doing it. So I had this one sent to me for repair because the little analogue stick on the bottom wasn't working. Well, you'll see now it is working again. Uh, so take a look and you'll see what happened when I tried to open it and what we needed to do for the repair. Okay, so we've got an Xbox Series X controller and the analog stick is very, very loose. Something's wrong with the components inside and we can't do anything until we actually open up the controller and take a look at what's going wrong. Now, if you look at the back of these, there are no openings for screws. You need to remove these plastic covers first. Uh, we need to make our way down the seam from the trigger along there and then try and somehow get that off without damaging it. So this is the, the seam that we're working into. I've got my spudger here. If I can just work it into the gap by the trigger first and then that will sort of start to separate the two bits. So I've gone along and that's separated a bit there. That's sort of lifted off and away from there. I should be able to get my fingers in now and just sort of lever it over. And that's just popped off the side there. It took a little while to figure out, but we've got a chance to look inside now. So at the bottom, that's no problem. That's just some additional clips, but here, We've got like two at the top end and two down at the bottom end. So if we can disengage those, the others should be a bit easier. And when you've got a visual on what you're trying to do, it's a little bit easier to see where you're going. So we'll try again with the spudger there. See if we can get into this gap at the top. So that's like this part here. And what we're doing is we're putting pressure on that bit to, to release that again. With the trigger out of the way, we should be able to get this into the gap. And it's just getting into the gap in the first place that can be quite hard. There we go. And now I'm just trying to get in there. You feel that little pop. And another one there. I can feel the spudger trying to be pushed back out, but I've got those two top bits separated. Now I know that I'm working down to the equivalent, which is down here. So if I just slide along, I'll feel those pop. Now, because I knew where I was going, it was a little easier. And now that they're separated here, again, I can get into the gap and just pop that off. Surprisingly easy on the second go. Now, inside, we've got one, two, three, four of these security bits. And I'll be honest, when I was checking before, if I had these screwdriver bits, I just assumed that this would be the correct one. I bought it as like a game opening kit. So it's got like the Game Boy game opening tools, what they call the game bit and the crosshead and the tri-wing. So these should be really suitable for this kind of controller. Um, so let's try that out there. This is the bigger one of the two. Yeah, that fits in fine. So I'll just undo those screws. If you haven't got this screwdriver, I would just put the project on hold and get one like this was really cheap and although there are workarounds it's too much like hard work like you you these jobs are frustrating enough without making them more difficult for yourself so i would suggest just get the right tools for the job make it more satisfying anyway so we'll take that out of there and that one there All right that's those screws out. See if there's anything inside the battery compartment. All right, so looking at the sticker there, if you run your finger along, there's a suspicious circular section in the middle. I might even be able to just pop the screwdriver straight in. There we go. And just feel around for the screw. Yeah, there's one in there. So undo that. And now I can feel it coming apart, which is good news. And if we can just separate those. So I should be able to now lift off the top. Um, okay, so there is our cover. It's actually broken, like that, that little cap there. 
is broken. So I'll see if I've got any spurs and see if that affects, because that shouldn't really click into place. Like if I pop this one off, mind you, it does hold like that. So all the way there, it does pop in place, but if you just go a little bit, it'll come back, but it should be like that. So actually what's happened is it's just the cap that's broken, hopefully. So that goes there and we can move it around. If we try it out on this one, see how we can move that around? That's all okay. So it's literally just the, the thumb cap that's uh, at fault. So I'll see if I've got any spares of those anywhere. A little while ago, I replaced the analog sticks in my Xbox One controller with metal caps, which means I have ones that I could possibly replace. Like these are very similar. Like on top, they look pretty much the same, but the inside is different. So I'll just have to see whether that fits or not. It might be different on this controller. If I just push that down in place there, that feels all right. It's moving around okay. That one's all right. Uh, so if we can put the cap back on and just check, does it all fit and does it work? That's okay. That one's all right. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. So we'll get our screws back in. So that's all screwed together. Just check it feels okay. That's moving all right. That's all moving all right. D-pad and everything's okay. Right. So which one was which on these now? So seeing as I had to pop it apart first from there and this other bit popped out afterwards, I assume it's like the reverse going back together. So we'll get that clicked into place on the side there and just apply some pressure make sure we get that popped in place same with this one get the side in and then those click them in that's all good get the battery cover back on and we're done nice and easy that's a relief and that was it, good as new. I didn't even need to order new parts because I had spare bits from a previous controller. It's not often things work out like that, but uh, I'm very glad they did. So in terms of tools to open up one of these, very straightforward, any sort of prying or opening tool will be fine. I mean, I always find sponges are really, really useful tools. Um, but that little screwdriver kit, I mean, if you have a look on eBay or Amazon for like game screwdriver or something like that, you will see these come up. And it is a really useful little kit. I haven't found the game bit, parts to be particularly good for consoles but they're good for opening up um, cartridges useful little screwdriver and in this case perfect for getting these security screws out which can be a bit awkward if you haven't got the right tools uh, it was difficult to get the hang of removing the little plastic sections but once i figured it out on one side and i could have a look at where the clips are the second half is dead easy uh, so yeah, certainly a job that you could attempt. I know I didn't delve much further into the controller, but in most cases, I don't think you'd need to. In most cases, I think it is just, you know, if something gets dropped or thrown, depends what sort of an angry gamer you are, um, these things can get a little bit broken and damaged. But as it happens, it was just this little cap um, and the plastic part broke inside. Now that's the Series X, Series S one. And the although they look pretty much the same on the top, um, the Xbox One has a bit more of a structure around the inside, so that's like a little bit stronger, I think, and uh, hopefully a worthwhile replacement. Certainly in terms of feel, if you didn't know, if no one had told you, I don't think you would notice it wasn't the exact same thumbstick. It's very, very similar in look and feel. Um, there's just a little bit more of a dimple in the middle, but I, I think in this case, it's not going to be a problem. Gaming is going to be fine. So yeah. Always a relief when you open something up and it turns out to be a simple job and you can be done in a matter of minutes. So yeah, never feel afraid to try these things out. The tools themselves, yeah, you might not have them, but they're quite cheap to buy and they're easy to get hold of. You don't even have to leave the house. I didn't to order any of these. So yeah, give it a go. Um, anybody else had any experiences with these new controllers? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, leave a like if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you want to see more like this. I am planning on doing a whole load more videos through the winter. So I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye.